Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and thanks for checking out today's video, much appreciated. And guys, today I'm gonna to talk about the black tube, man, which is one of my favorite summertime flipping baits. I'm really gonna to talk to you about the conditions where it outperforms uh, not only any other tube color, but any other bait in general. And we're getting into that time frame. July and August is when um, I use the black tube probably 90% of the time. So we're gonna get into that in this video. I think it's gonna help you guys catch some good fish. And man, it's a little bit hot here in the tackle room. It's about uh, 10.30 in the morning and it is, we're supposed to get over 100 today and I'm already sweating like crazy. So it's uh, definitely summertime. I'm not, I'm not complaining because winter will be here far too soon and we'll be cussing the cold weather. So um, I, I just seem to be warm all year. Okay guys, black tube, here it is. This is, uh, you know, it's been around forever. This is an old school, it's about as old school as it gets as far as tube fishing goes. Sort of got uh, well known back in 1998, Denny Breyer won the Bassmasters Classic on a black tube at uh, High Rock Lake in uh, North Carolina. <clears throat> Actually, I finished third in that tournament and Denny uh, won the tournament on this black tube here. So what I wanna do is I wanna talk about the conditions and scenarios when the black tube will outperform anything else. Now, one of the things that I've noticed in the summertime, specifically when you start to get into August, the fish get real particular and real picky as far as on your pitching and flipping baits around shallow cover. Now, I don't care if you're pitching and flipping around shallow grass or wood or docks or whatever, they just get a little bit tougher to catch. And there's a handful of baits that do pretty good but guys, I catch more probably on a black tube under the right conditions during this time of year than about anything. So let's talk a little bit about conditions. So first of all, you need to have some stained water. Uh, this technique does not, it's not gonna work very good if you have water visibility like over two foot. So you need that water visibility to sort of be like in that, sort of that eight inch to maybe a foot and a half is gonna be ideal scenario for it. The next is you gotta have some shallow cover in that shallow water in less than three feet of water. So I'm looking for dirty water cover in less than three feet of water in the form of, you know, dock piling, shallow brush piles, lay down trees, stumps, shallow grass, lily pads, whatever cover that you have in your lake. And one of the big keys guys on fishing the black tube in the summertime is you got to use a little bit heavier weight. So normally in this, I'm using like a, anywhere between a five sixteenths to a half ounce sinker which is pretty heavy for a tube because the tube doesn't have anything to slow it down on the fall. So if you put a three eighths or a half ounce weight on a tube, it, it falls super fast. And I'm normally fishing it on 20, 25 pound test Seaguar and Vizix line, just with some type of like a three yacht Gamagatsu EWG hook in it. And always guys on the tube, like I said, you always want to rough them up. This is, we talk about this a lot on the channel. Tubes have a lot of salt in them. And if you pull on them and, and break up that salt like that, it makes them a lot softer and you'll get that hook through them a lot better. But anyway, guys, just a quick video on uh, the black tube and, and when it really works good. Um, most of the time on a tube, I'm usually using a green pumpkin or like a watermelon red or smoke with red and black flake. But this is the time of year that black really seems to trigger the, the, the better fish and more bites. But again, you have to have it on the right setup. So get you a black tube, get you some uh, three eighths to half ounce slip sinkers, peg them with a toothpick, pitch it and flip it around that shallow cover and it'll get you some good bites in hot water. So hope it helps out. We'll talk to you guys 